Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we just got to the hunting I lodge. could use a shower, but I want to look around first. Okay. Uh, not really sure what's going to happen here. Hey, another empty wardrobe. There's nothing in here. Uh, I'll never be able to sleep in this place. Not without a barricade on the door. <laughs> okay. You're so full of spunk. Uh, <laughs> hey. Awkward. Oh, what a dickhead. I didn't know that was going to lead me outside. thought it was maybe like a closet or something. There's nothing in here. Yes, there is. There's nothing in here. What's that? Is that just like a discoloration in the wood? Nice view. <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> I'd hate to get lost out there. I have a feeling we're going to. There's a ledge under the windows. Too bad it's not a little wider. Why? There's a ledge under the... Why on earth would you need it to be a wider? Comfier than mine. Well, I gotta say my prayers. Check for monsters under the bed. What the hell are you doing, Gabe? If somebody walks in on you, you look like the biggest spaz. Shit, a rope. A whip. Fuck yeah, take that. <laughs> I'll never see it in there. I'm pretty sure Herr Price is in there, and I don't want to know what he's doing. <laughs> ah, the exact same window opening animation. More woods than you can shake a stick at. That ledge runs along the entire face of the building. Too narrow to walk on, though. Without help. Well, maybe I should use the road. I hate it when I come up with ideas like this. I don't even know what it's going to be. Hmm. 
What did he do? What on earth are you doing, Gabe? He looks like a ghost. <laughs> Why do you have to close the window to tie that? Why is he doing this? Why didn't he just leave out, out of the door like a sane person? What are you doing, Gabe? Whoa, scary face! <laughs> Seems like that ledge is plenty wide enough to walk on without the assistance of that rope. Uh, I guess he was just doing it so he could spy on everyone else. That isn't going to break that window. Dude, that thing couldn't be more than like 10 feet off the ground. And if you weren't wearing your, like, cool biker boots, you'd probably ha be having a better time with it. Get some sneakers. That's what Tex Murphy wears. And he gets in all kinds of shenanigans. That was the longest fucking animation ever. Just to walk like three feet to look at a damn window. There he is, Ghost Gabe again. Like, what is he doing? Everyone is still in here. Cell's room. I don't know which one is fun cell. Ah, let's ransack his bed now. Bonzo's the guy we just saw leave his room and looked at us like an idiot. Yeah, make sure the pillows are good. Why didn't you get the thing on the... Oh. You don't speak German. Same entry I saw at the hunt club. Yep. Same entry as Sure is. Look at this letter in the back. If I'm not mistaken, Grossberg was trying to cash in on all the excitement around the missing zoo wolves. Von Zell must have been the new business partner Grossberg told Dorn about. Guess Von Zell didn't care much for the idea. Why did he write the letter in English? If I'm not mistaken, Groth. Yep. Put it back. Let's go into his bathroom. Check the bathtub. Not even a ring in the tub. Not surprised for someone as anal as Von Zell. Uh, what do you call that? Not even a ring in the tub. 
let's check the bath mat. <gasps> What's that? Nothing unusual about the room. Hello. Someone's been tromping around barefoot in the mud. Orange mud at that. Did they say large mud or marsh mud? Hello. Someone's been tromping around barefoot in the mud. Orange mud at that. You can't understand what he says there. Large mud. can't go out that way, I'd have to leave the door unlocked. Oh. Very astute, Gabe. Let's get back out here. Gabe, you were like the biggest scaredy cat when it comes to this roof. Thank God that other guy takes so long in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, okay, I can't get to this one. Alright, let's see him be scaredy cat again. Oh my god, go, you big fat baby. You're what, like 30 years old? And you're scared of that? I can understand being like six and being scared to go out on that. Come on. Plus, it's not even like there's pavement down there, it's the fucking woods. Probably land in a pile of leaves or soft dirt or something. I'm not watching another one of those. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, is he sitting in a bathtub full of blood? Oh, sorry. Didn't know you were busy. <laughs> Mach nicht. I'm always up for company. Okay. So, amuse me, Herr Knight. <laughs> Touch my diggling. Tell me about the club. From what I hear, you've already grilled the others about it. Really, it's so tedious. All right, uh, we can talk about something else. Can I assume you're a fan of the club philosophy? Well, look at me. I love to eat and I love to drink. I own a butchery and a brewery, which means I love people who love to eat and drink. <laughs> if I could make it a national religion, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Point taken. Um, I'm not going to ask him about any of that crap, because honestly, I already know it all. Come and see. What do you want, Knight? Just scoping things out. Really? Look all you want at the great wonders of this room, then leave. I'm trying to rest. What a dickhead. Fine, I'll leave you be. Enter. Enter. <laughs> Ah, uh, Van Klauer. All settled then? Uh-huh. Nice place. Wouldn't it be like Van Klover? Yes, it is. You should go for a walk. 
The woods are beautiful and you could get your bearings before tomorrow's hunt. Good idea. Friedrich wouldn't appreciate me messing around in here. Stein like that. I wish someone would start a fire. Uh, why don't you take the initiative there, Gabe, instead of just waiting for other people to do things? Gosh. Hey, Henneman. These days. Looks like we finally have a chance to talk. Well, as long as my glass is full, you can ask me anything you like. No. Are you especially close to anyone at the club? Oh, I drift on the fringes here, Knight. You, however, seem to have gone straight to the top. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> ah, don't be modest. Everyone can see you as a new golden boy. Why do you think Von Zell bothers to hate you? <laughs> Are you and Von Zell good friend? No, I was never good enough for Von Zell. <laughs> now, I get along <laughs> better with those who do not think so much of themselves. <laughs> Von Agner? No. Von Agner's a good man. Dr. Klingman, too, I like. He comes by the Don Easel and drinks with me sometimes. Yeah, Will Dr. You Klingman. Stop by sometime if you want. I don't like drinking alone. Thanks. Maybe I will. Yeah. I don't like drinking alone. You and Klingman make an unlikely pair. <laughs> what do you find to talk about? Oh, a doctor likes to discuss the club philosophy. He's very enthusiastic, you know. That's what made him want to join in the first place. <laughs> you sponsored Klingman's membership. Me? No. Von Zell. Von Zell? He doesn't seem like the welcome type. Oh, that's what I saw, too. You know, when Von Zell brought Klingman in, I thought they must be very close. But the way Klingman asks questions, you, you'd think he hardly knew Von Sell. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I mean, who can say why Von Sell does anything? Because <laughs> he's an ass, just like everyone else in here, except for you and Eigner. Is there any reason you don't want a room with Price? No, you may not have noticed, but the man is a rotting schwein. <laughs> Why the Baron puts up with him, I will never know. I can tell you what he's doing right now, up there in his room. He has shut himself in the bathroom. And he isn't taking a bath. No. I tell you, you can't turn your back on a man like that. No one is safe. Don't get it, your backside. I thought Price was a hotshot lawyer. Yeah, was. Ten years ago. He's lucky he doesn't need the money now because he can't get work. Why not? He's too He's obvious with his asshole. nature, you know? Okay, so maybe other men are like this, you know, thinking only what's between their legs. I see. He has no respect for normal human decency. He flaunts his perversion. Isn't that what the club's about? Are they trying to say he's Getting gay? Getting in touch with one's instincts and being primal? Yeah, okay, so it is. Um, that's a question for the Baron, not for me. I, uh, I only say what I see about Price. Hmm. This is a nice hunting lodge. Do y'all come here often? Oh, at least once a month altogether. <laughs> oh, we can come any time we want by ourselves. Do you have any other properties where y'all hunt? Yeah, we have a lodge at Alfdorf, but we don't go there much. It is not so convenient as this one. Alfdorf? Mm -hmm. Is the club in Alfdorf close to a forest, too? Well, not close. In. It's in the Naturpark Schwäbisch Frankreicher Wald. Oh, yes. Of course. I know is. that one quite well. Have you ever heard of the Black Wolf? Black Wolf? No. <laughs> well, I'll be going. 
Thanks for the talk. Yeah, I'll video it. In. Let's check another wardrobe. What is that? A little lamp. It's fucking tiny. So they had to make a nice closet fit in his pocket. Nice closet. It is a nice closet. Oh shit, we're outside. Let's head over here. To this barn. What's that? Big piece of wood. You can tell. Shears. These might come in handy. I think I'll just steal them. Cause that's what I do. I'm a... <laughs> She's a petty thief. Tools. Hey hooks. Tools. They are tools. There are traces of an orangish mud in the print. There are traces. Let's go find where the orange mud lives. Anything on the screen? Ooh, what was that? Oh, fucking Gabe again. Come on, there's gotta be tracks around here somewhere. Can go up, can go down. Let's go right as far as we can before we start going down. Oh shit, back here. I have to walk all the way around the world. The ravine's pretty deep. I don't think I can cross it. Aha! Well, I am officially completely lost in the woods.
Ah, uh, there's too many bushes here. Burn it all down! Or we can just use the shears. How about that, Gabe? accomplished much with all that, but it seems just as thick as it was. So is that a spooky cave? Let's go in there. Just like the cave of the Manaha. language Gabe Jesus probably just full of little rotting carcasses and such and wolf poop yeah just crawl in there no light no nothing you're gonna get covered in mud and everyone is going to know that you were out snooping where you shouldn't have been. You never think these things through, Gabe. God. You're the worst shot Jaeger ever. save because I hear something eating. noises ever. by that rancor. Alright, I think I need to find my way back to the lodge now. Too bad.
stairs and first door on left. I already did that. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. And I need to show him it's possible in Hilda. Hilda Gunn and Parcel. Nice names. My good. Don't worry. I'm not gonna turn you in. Please, and I it would mean my job. Yeah, I said I wouldn't. Not if you tell me exactly what happened. Did he sell the wolves? I'm afraid. Of Von Zell. It's his fault. I only followed his instructions. Why did Von Zell want to kidnap those wolves? Um he said he wanted to own a pair because he admired their nature as predators. He, he told me he would keep them in a private place, a safe place, to study. How did you meet Von Zell in the first place? He came to one of my lectures about three months ago. He was very knowledgeable about wolves, very. Uh, he said he admired my work. I was impressed by his knowledge and his title. Then he told me about the club about how exclusive it was, about their philosophy. It was, it was like a dream come true for me. Yes, it is seductive. So the wolves were your price of admission. Why would a guy who works a zoo? at a zoo want to join a hunting lodge? I led Baron von Sell and another man that I didn't know into the zoo through a, a delivery gate. The other man drugged the wolves with some meat when they were asleep, he and Von Zell uh, put two of them into the truck and drove off. I was afraid when the police came and investigated the next day, but they didn't find anything. I, th I thought we had gotten away with it. And then you then the killing up. started. Your wolves aren't responsible. They were shipped to Taiwan. They never hurt anyone. That is, that is more of a relief than you could possibly imagine. But the wolves, are they safe? I don't have that information. What do you think? They probably got eaten. I guess that's all I need to know. Please don't say anything to the police. I swear I have told you everything. Yeah, I know. I won't tell your dirty little secrets. Good to have the upper hand for once. You enjoy a nap, Doc? Yeah? Yeah, I am. The middle left door and talk to him. I already started doing this. Damn it. Should have just done Do you know this what before. type of animal will be hunted tomorrow? Yeah, I suppose. Oh, hmm. that's too bad. I, I mean, it's too bad we don't have something more interesting to hunt. What do you mean? Well, Grossberg's death's gonna make it difficult to get anything really challenging. Leopards, lions, things like that. You enjoy sticking your neck out, don't you? Do I? If it were me, I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of someone like Von Zell. If everyone hates Von Zell so much, why is he still in the club? Were you the club's main contact with Grossberg? Yeah. Buying and selling exotic animals isn't exactly legal in Germany. The others didn't want to know. Is it legal anywhere other than, like, third world countries? What does Baron Von Zell have to do with Grossberg? Nothing. But he knew Grossberg. You asked him about Grossberg the other night at the club. My, what big ears you have. <laughs> you gave Von Zell Grossberg's name, why? Because he asked me for it. Little Red Riding Hood reference.
Would your cooperation in giving out Grossberg's name have anything to do with the money you owe Von Zell? How do you know about the money? You only been with the club a few days. Did the Baron say something? What's a big secret? Von Zell is a banker, is it? That's right. He is a banker, and I am a successful businessman. There you go. Obviously not. And he offered to cut your debt in half for a small favor. I understand. It's not your fault Grossberg's dead. You need to quit poking around. They're gonna fucking Do kill you. Do know you. why Von Zell wanted Grossberg's name? He did not share his reasons with me. Well, you must have thought something. I assumed that since Von Zell was getting too big for his britches, and since he was no longer Von Glauer's pet, that he had intentions of leaving and starting his own club. And you didn't have a problem helping him go independent? I would love to see him leave. And I'm not the only one. Well, you know about the Black Wolf. Have you heard of the Black Wolf? Nine, I don't know this. Are you sure? Maybe there are Black Wolves here, maybe not. I have never seen them, I have only heard them. What do you mean you heard them? There's wolves in the woods. I'm glad I never saw them. They make such sounds. It makes your hair stand on end. That would take quite a lot with old Gabe here. Are you telling me you've heard wolves around here? Yeah, of course. You should be sure oh, you boy, don't yeah. go out in the dark at night. These wolves, sometimes they sound very close by. But Klingman told me wolves are extinct in Germany, except for maybe a few in the Alps. We're not close to the Alps, are we? Yeah, the air doctor is obviously mistaken. There are wolves in the woods. I've heard them myself. Many times. In many times. Well, peace, Holmes. I think you should excuse yourself now, Herr Knight. It's getting cold. Oh, sure. No problem. Close the door on the way out, please. Trust me, nobody wants to see that, dude. Alright, we need to go back to the cave, if I can find that again. He's gonna waste a match. Be a terrible survivalist. All right, it was and down, and down. Aha! Got it. That wasn't too difficult. Now let's see what's going on in this pit. Uh, matches lantern. Thank you. 
Is that that dude who's being an ass to us the whole time? We gotta go talk to Pond Flower about this shit. Be like, yo, dude, what's up with this? There's a dude eating a dude in there. Now let's just walk nonchalantly over there. Guys, you will never believe what I just saw. Saw duty the dude. What is it? What's happened? Happened. Uh, nothing happened. You look like you've seen a ghost. No, I. I saw a cannibal. Sweet Jesus. In the woods. Show me. Maybe that guy isn't a werewolf. Gabriel, where are you going? In there. I am not in the hunting lodge, Fun Clowers, bedroom. There's nothing there. Something must be done. Did you see him in there? Did you see Von Zell? Von Zell? No. I didn't see anybody. He was in there before! Eating! Man, this is running What's like up? shit all of a sudden. Well. Cool. It looks like he's been killing like this for a long time, using the woods for cover at this lodge and at your other lodge in Alfdorf. I think he stalks his victims to learn their habits and then attacks them in secluded spots. He drags him back here to the cave to eat. Wish this wasn't running like crap. This is a pretty important scene. The victims are reported missing since no bodies are ever found. Fonzel's careful not to let himself be seen in wolf form. One woman did see him, but no one believed her. Then something changed. I don't know why. Fonzel cooked up this plan to steal wolves from the zoo. Wolves that public mutilations could be blamed on. But he needed an inside man. So he seduced Klingman into wanting to join the club. Then used a lure of sponsorship to set up the kidnapping. But then he needed a way to get rid of the wolves. A way that guaranteed the wolves wouldn't be found by the police. He knew the club got exotic animals on the black market. He'd been doing it for years. <laughs> Von Agner had built up a massive debt to Von Zell. But Von Zell offered to subtract part of it if Von Agner gave him the name of the exotic's contact. The contact was a man named Grossberg. Now, Grossberg was perfectly willing to get rid of the wolves for a fee. Grossberg got greedy. When he read of the wolf killings in the newspaper, he tried to blackmail Von Zell. That's when Von Zell killed him. I knew Von Zell was deeply disturbed, but this is incredible. Yeah, but it's true. We have to call the police. I know the man in charge of the case. No! The police would never believe us. Why do you believe us? Nothing in their mentality prepares them for something like this. Besides, I am responsible for Von Zell. I knew that philosophy was powerful, but... I never realized that someone could take it to such a hideous conclusion. I helped create this. I must stop it. 
Yeah. With your help, that is. What are you proposing? That you and I hunt him. Tonight. Oh, God. I don't know. Well, that's what you came to the club to do, isn't it? Hunt down and kill Tony Hooper's murderer. How do you know that? How do you know? You're not the only one who can ask questions. It's all right. I'm glad you showed up. Now we must act. Meet me at the stable at midnight. Until then, be discreet. The others could only slow us down. All right. Tonight it is. A long cutscene. What rough beast slouches towards the hunt? It's prey to be undone. Don't, you're creeping me out. Am I? I have a tendency to do that to people. <laughs> How are they close? I feel like Lord fucking Byron. Nonsense. <laughs> you look better than he ever did. <laughs> and you'll need that extra warmth tonight. We don't ride much in the States. We are not taking the horses. It's too dangerous to ride at night. I suppose you have a plan? Yeah, shoot his ass. We need to corner him. The best place is the ravine. I think I'd better run defense. I'm sure you have your own methods. But if I were you, I would keep close. That horse is really short. Here, that, they're both like seven feet tall. I find hard to believe. Spooky woods. Stay right behind me. Just wander off through the woods. It's a smart idea, Gabe. Jesus. Alright, this is telling me to save in big capital letters and exclamation points, so. Damn it. As soon as I can, I'm going to do that. <laughs> What are you doing? Don't take that off.
Why are you pretending like that's a flashlight? Save. Alrighty. There he is again. That's right, fuck off. Really, I need to get to this screen and wait. That little fuck. Yeah. Please go 
backwards. No! You little fucker! I'm glad we're supposed to be around here. That's me. That's me, Gabriel Knight. I made it to the ravine, the whiz on loud. But a wolf. Maybe if I come at it That's from me. this angle. Yeah. It... Did he go the right way? No! Fuck this wolf, man! I don't understand how to make him go the way I want him to go. I want him to come from this way. But he doesn't. Ever. Fuck you! Quit going that way! Look at him just waiting. I'm gonna shove this in that thing's face so hard. Don't go up this time. Yeah. All right. We well, should be here this time. Glower is that wolf. He ran off so he could shoot it to a werewolf. Oh, what the fuck? Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot it! Ending movie. Why didn't that wolf just attack us? Is he going to turn back into a man? Oh, he was wearing earplugs. This for giving us some. Sometimes his earplugs would have put him at a severe disadvantage. Stop turning back into a man. Guess my secret's out. I'm obviously not a hunter. This shit sickens me. You are less experienced than I thought. But not for long, I'm sure. Wound. We need to clean it. He's gonna turn into a werewolf. I guess he got me. Fuck. Fuck! Wait a minute. I shot him. You made me shoot him. Shoot him in the heart. Okay. Oh, Chris. Looks like you're going to be a werewolf now. Thank God you made me shoot him. Come on. We'll fix you up. Oh! In the 
And I'll drive you back to Munich. He's not going to be one because he's the one who killed the werewolf. I think you've done enough hunting for one trip. Him. Right? Oh no! Didn't that book say you you had to kill the the alpha? I don't know if he's the alpha. Right? I don't know. All right, let's watch this opening movie, and then we shall save it. Ah, oh, she's a ghost now. Because we all know there are so many Asians in Bavaria at that time, whenever that was. What, like, late 1800s, is that what they said? And that dude is wearing the most obvious fucking wig. Oh yeah! Gabby! Oh no, he's sad. I don't understand that at all. You are the Black Wolf. What did she say? You are the Black Wolf? <laughs> Von Glauer, the black man. Two wolves are missing from the zoo. Now, if I were a wolf, then I'd harm the bedtime with his own hand. <laughs> yep, you gotta kill Von Glauer, he's the other werewolf. Gabe is fucking buff, dude. No! No! No what? What's he freaking out about? fuck is that guy? Is that, uh, what's his face? The composer dude? I already forgot his name. Ah. Gotta go look in the secret passage for his secret thing. Oh, he's hiding them everywhere. Tell me nobody's ever like dusted along any of those areas and accidentally moved it. Yeah, what was that composer dude's name? Oh, it was Wagner, wasn't it? I think. <laughs> Man, I wish top hats were still in style. I'd rock the shit out of one of those. Tell her to put this with my heart. Tell to it. Are 
this supposed to be Ludwig? With a weird goatee now. I don't know why they'd all of a sudden give him a goatee, but... Ah, Von Clower was his lover. He was the Black Wolf. Now the mystery is solved. We just need to kill Von Clower, right? Man, look at his fucking arms. Gabriel! <laughs> Get out! Get out of here, you stupid, dirty bird! What's she doing in prison now? You have a visitor. Put Gabe in jail? I don't know. We'll find out next time. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Uh, this is the last chapter we're about to start here. So, uh, get hyped, I guess. We're finally gonna kill all these werewolves, um, which will hopefully cure Gabe so he won't be a werewolf for the rest of his life, which would suck. Um, but anyway, stick around. We'll do that next time.